Working forever. Surely I should have found my dorm by now. I still can't believe there's a phoenix in this school. I guess I'll just have to try and avoid him. He doesn't seem like the type of person that makes friends very easily. I wonder what's going on between him and that wolf. They don't seem to get along very well. Huh? What could that be? Hello? Hey, Stella! When can I visit? Hugo, I literally just left earlier today. I know, but it's boring without you here. You'll be fine. Just play with your toys or something. I don't like playing with my toys, though. I get bored easily. Then what doesn't make you bored? Annoying you? Hugo, now is not the time for jokes. You can visit tomorrow once I've settled into the school. Fine. See you tomorrow then. Yeah, yeah, see ya. Oh, this is my dorm room. Hopefully my dorm partner and I can get along. Unlike the phoenix and that wolf. How can you be this stupid? I know I'm younger than you and all, but I'm starting to think I have more brain cells than you. And just a heads up, I don't even have that many, which makes this situation even more dumb. Maddie, you do know that Willow is head girl, right? And? Ugh, you're insulting her because she messed up our dorm numbers? I thought you knew better than to insult others. It's even worse that you're insulting someone older than you. Mel, it's fine. She's still learning the rules around here after all, and I'm sure you already know I'm used to situations like this. I know, I know, but I just wish you would understand and take the school seriously. I do understand. I just like correcting others' mistakes, that's all. We, we know, know that. that. Uh, did I come in at the wrong time? Oh, you must be the new student. How much of that argument did you hear, exactly? Quite a lot. I was confused why it said that my dorm partner was the head girl. Now I know that the dorms were just switched around. I can stop confusing my brain by thinking about it too much. Since I'm here, I might as well introduce myself to you all. I am Estella, a Draco Angel hybrid. I'm Milo, a Scorpion hybrid, and also head girl of Sunset Academy. Most of the people in this school seem really nice. It's quite unusual. I guess I'm just lucky that I got enrolled in such an amazing school as this. Estella? Estella? Estella! Huh? What? Were you even listening to me? <laughs> Sorry. I kind of blanked out when you were talking. What were you saying? I was just telling you that my office is down the hallway if you need anything. Okay, thanks. Allow me to introduce myself. Hmm, no. I'll introduce myself first, then you can after. Ugh, fine. As I was saying, I'm Melanie. I'm 19 years old, and I'm one of the assistants for the Flight and Magic class. Assistant? What do you mean? Basically, my job is to help the teacher. If they're absent, I teach the class instead. I am guessing Willow and you share a dorm. You both seem like good friends. We have our own dorms, but both of our rooms are next to each other. And yeah, we are good friends. I can't say the same for Madeline, though. Hey, I may be dumb and a little annoying, but I can assure you that I am a great friend to have. Anyway, have you had a tour yet, Estella? 
Not yet, but Harley is gonna try me once I've set up in here. Also, I have a question. Ask away. I heard that our dorms change after a few months. Is that true? If Harley told you that, then what she meant is if you're unhappy about your dorm for any reason, you can ask to have it changed. She's not that helpful when it comes to explaining things. Great. Now you're just going to ignore me. I don't think she'd want to talk to you anyway. I could say the same about you. I'm guessing you two are sisters. You act like a lot like my brother and I. We are always arguing about the most stupid things. Unfortunately, we are. I've had to deal with her for over 14 years. I can sort of relate. I've had to deal with my younger brother, Hugo, for almost nine years. Let's just say he's quite a handful. I have nothing to say to this since I'm an only child, but what I can say is that once they're older, they'll be less of a handful. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case for Madeline. Can I introduce myself now? Sure, you can now. Great! I'm Madeline. I'm 14 years old and I'm a wolf-bat hybrid. I'm also annoying, according to everyone that I've met. Nice to meet you, Estella. Nice to meet you too, Madeline. I'm sure you're not annoying. I have a feeling we'll get along well. That's the first time anyone's ever said that to me. I think we'll get along too. I'll give you a short tour of our dorm later. After you've had a full tour of the school, that is. Even the dorms look huge. I wonder how big the rest of the rooms are. I'd better head back to my office. Head girl duty calls. It was nice meeting you, Willow. Good luck with your duties. Bye, everyone. Bye! I'll leave, too. I need to plan the next flight and magic class for later today. See ya! I should get going now, too. Harley will probably be waiting for me for the tour. I'll call Harley and tell her that you're having a dorm tour first. I don't want to be left here all alone with nothing to do. You can come with us if you want. I'm sure Harley won't mind if you tag along, too. Really? Thanks! I'll ask her just to be sure, though. Hey, Harley. I was just wondering if I can come with you and Estella while you give her a tour. I'm bored sitting in the dorm, and I don't know what else to do. Sure, I don't mind. The more the merrier. I'll come to your dorm now to meet you guys. Okay. Thanks, Harley. No problem. She said she'll be on her way soon. Maybe we can meet some of my other friends on the way, too. Great! I'd love to meet more people. Since we're here, I might as well introduce Estella to the members of the school. I'll tell a little bit more about each other, and also let you know who to stay away from. Okay. First is Amelia. She's a bunny raccoon and one of my good friends. We used to be dorm partners, but she got moved since we made too much noise and annoyed the people in the dorm next to us. She's one of the kind of friends that would get both of us in trouble for the stupidest things. I know that for sure. She made us get detention from Miss Adelie for pretending to battle each other in magic class. Melanie wasn't happy about that. <laughs> I wish I was there to see that. Anyway, the next few people are people who I don't necessarily know well, but I'll try my best to introduce them to you. Damien is one of Willow's friends, I believe. He's a multi-tailed fox wolf hybrid, and I think he's one of the SA helpers. I've only talked to him once though, but he seems like a nice guy. Next is Aston. He's a typical phoenix hybrid, selfish, arrogant, and likes to pick fights with anyone lower than him. Unless, of course, when Willow is around. I heard my name. You better not be talking about me. You know what happened last time, don't you? Sorry, Aston. I was just introducing the new students to the Sunset Academy members. If it involves me, then they don't need to know. All you need to know about me is that I don't care about anyone or anything. I'm here because my parents forced me to come here. And don't get in my way. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to get ready for a fight during next period. That was unexpected. I know, right? 
So, is his name AJ or Aston? His name is Aston Jameson, but people like to call him AJ for short to annoy him. He hates being called AJ. So, try not to call him that, to be honest. He hates people even saying his name. I don't know why exactly, but I think it has to do something with the drama between Willow and him. Drama? What do you mean? I'll tell you both later. I haven't finished talking about the other students yet. Where was I? Oh, right. Since Aston already pretty much introduced himself, I'll move on to Melanie. Melanie is basically like the mom of the school. She has an overall bubbly personality, she's there whenever you need help, and she makes sure you have everything you need for the rest of the day ahead. She's sometimes a bit bossy, but that's because she has to deal with Madeline. Hey! Don't give Estella the wrong impression of me! Sorry, Madeline, but it's the truth. <sighs> I guess you're right. There's a few more people I would like to tell you about, but first, we should take a break. My legs are getting tired. We've only been walking for about 20 minutes, though. I'm too used to teleporting, so whenever I walk, I get easily tired. I never knew you could teleport. Have you ever wondered how I always appear randomly when you and Melanie are always arguing? So that's how you always get there so fast. Your sister is right about you being dumb. Hey, I may be dumb, but I'm not stupid. I have to agree with Madeline. Thank you, Estella. I can tell we'll get along well together. I hope so. There's an empty classroom close by. Maybe we could take a break in there for a few minutes. Sure thing. Fine by me. Great, let's go. Finally, some peace and- Hey, Holly. Hey, Madeline. Quiet. Hey, Emmy. I haven't talked to you in so long. You literally talked to me last week. A week is a long time, you know. So, you're Amelia. Yep, that's me. You must be Estella, the new student. I heard from Melanie that you're sharing a dorm with Madeline. All I can say is good luck. Is Madeline really that annoying? Every person I've talked to says the same thing about her. I know, right? Everyone thinks I'm annoying. You're not annoying in a bad way. You're annoying in a good way. If you want to be sarcastic, at least make it sound like you are. You really get on my nerves sometimes. And as always, people forget I'm here. Oh, hey Damien. I didn't realize you were standing there. What brings you here? Oh, I was just checking to see if I left my exam files here, but I think I definitely lost them. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm sure they'll be here somewhere in the school. There's a lot of grounds to cover. It will probably take all day to search. I have lessons later today, too. I'm sure you'll find your files eventually. I hope so. Anyway, I'll leave you three alone now, and I'll get back to searching. I thought I was helping you search, too? You can just stay here. I don't want any of you to get in trouble because of me. Okay, I'll stay here, I guess. How did Damien manage to lose the exam files? Aren't they extremely important for his end of the semester report? I'm assuming they were lost during PE class since that's the last place he saw them. When you lose something during PE, you're almost never able to find it again. I'll make sure to keep a close eye on all my belongings when I'm in PE. I don't want any of it to disappear. Same. PE is the worst place to lose things. Do you think we should help Damien? I know he told us not to, and I don't know him, but we can't let him search the whole school on his own, right? I guess you're right. I know where he'll search next, so I'll take you there. I'm not helping. If I search the school with you guys, then my legs are gonna fall off. Well, you can just go back to your dorm and sit there being bored like you were earlier. Fine by me. Ugh. I guess it's just us three helping now. Yeah. I guess we should get going before Damien goes somewhere else. Come on, he's probably on his way to the storage room now. Are you sure this is a good idea, Adriel? I'm positive. They won't suspect a thing if we stay like this. 
Just don't search your form. We should be fine. Okay, I'm trusting you. But if your plan fails, I won't hesitate to tell boss about this. Understood. No one will suspect a thing. 